And there he is, right on cue. Hey. As anticipated, hast thou determined the time is nigh, world composer? Actually, I just want to know who you are. And how you know about... that. I am the observer of all eternity. Tis only natural I would know. In that case... What know you of this? The legendary far-off land of green, Anastasia. The scriptures doth tell of a great calamity brought about by the seven deadly sin. And when the eternity fragment is held, the eighth sin awakens. The destruction that follows shall serve as prologue to the world's rebirth. But then what of the world? Will it be bathed in cold light? or warm darkness. That depends on what the creatures of this earth desire. Universal peace, or distended revolution. Who shall be judged king, and who shall take the mantle of God? Shall judgment even suffice, or shall judgment itself be judged irrelevant in the new order? Whatever avarice remains on earth shall determine if this is the end, or a new beginning. Only thou canst choose. Tis to be the beacon signaling the remaking of the world. Okay, anyone have any idea what the heck these two are talking about? Not even the slightest. Composer, thou shalt here decide. Is it to be an end or a beginning? Whence thou touchest the ancient scar, thou must decide what thou wishest from the verdant impulses of old. I choose an end. Thy awakening is not yet complete, twould seem. Yet, perhaps the time is still right. Know this, composer. To reign within these depths doth require more than hope alone. I am aware, but I'll put an end to it. Very well. Thou mayst proceed. Lay thy hands upon the ancient scar, and with them, Bring down the final curtain of judgment. But, of course. Well, whatever just happened, it looks like we can get through now. Yeah, but what did just happen? We can't just hand wave a spectacle like that away. I'm not sure. Whatever it was, it was something of consequence. Yamato, who or what are you? Just shut up already. I am who I am, and that's nobody special. But if you want to nullify this delusion, then I suggest you get moving. Hey, wait up! There's our grand phantasm. Huh. I didn't expect I'd have a foe of such grand scale lying in wait for me. Yet here you are, the devourer of heaven and earth! Looks like a frog to me. Yep, that's definitely a frog! There is no quarter for you and your ilk here. No mercy. Return to the scriptures from whence you came! It's just a frog. <laughs> ah! Asahi, no! You dare lay a hand on my dearest companion? Yamato? I still remember those Halcyon days. And yet this is to be our reunion? Those days. That time. That place. And here I thought you'd been scattered to the four winds like so many ashes. But perhaps this meeting of ours was foreordained. A folly of fate. Actualized by God himself. To finally be able to cross swords with you this way is like a long-forgotten dream. <clears throat> Were you lonely? Did you suffer? Worry no more, for everything will be all right now. Because I am here. And I bring the end. Let us disappear together. Let's bury the hatchet deep within the blackest depths of our lost history! Ugh. Don't let the cringeworthiness of all this distract you, Asahi. We've got a fight inbound. Come on, then. Show me the very contents of your burning heart! No one knows you better than I! I it's totally obliging! Let us begin! With my nerves steeled and my soul ablaze! Beginning of the end! I choose you! Why? 
Why are you here? Tell me! Why, Mizuki? Hmm? <sighs> is something the matter? Nothing. It's all right. Everything is just fine the way it is. Sorry? I don't need friends. Okay, yeah, that's the opposite of what people say when things are all right. You actually look kind of pale. What is your problem? Huh? Oh, I'm just... Stay away from me, you disgusting foul brute. I don't recall ever giving you permission to speak to me. Do you? So you're going to remove yourself from my presence this instant. Getting within one meter of me is strictly forbidden. One meter's a lot of space, to be honest. Silence! You still haven't earned the right to talk to me. Let's try starting over. May I please talk to you? Would that be all right? No! Seriously? I forbid you from even breathing within five meters of me. And from blinking, too. Furthermore, you're not allowed to reflect my image in those dirty eyes of yours. Do we understand each other? Look me in the eyes and swear it if you do! But uh, how can I? Ugh. You are also forbidden from remembering that I exist. And don't you dare forget that. That's a contradiction, damn it! Then each shouted to nobody? What was that all about, though? I didn't do anything wrong. Well, guess as long as she's okay, it's fine for her to be a little crazy. Oh, it's Mippity! Hey, Asahi! What's the sitch? Um, well, Saki wants us all to regroup. Huh? Isn't that a little premature? <laughs> we'll be waiting for you at the station plaza. Hmm, wonder what happened. was quite the search. It sure was. In what way? Quit your whining. It was fine. That was the opposite of fine. How come I had to foot the bill at all the maid cafe? Well, you are the oldest. It only seemed fitting. But what about at the arcade? One of you has to have some change. But think of all the cute stuffed animals we got. And who was it who got so caught up that he made me buy a whole stack of lots of lots raffle tickets? Hmm? Hey! With that many, it seemed like a sure bet we'd win something. Well, I probably didn't need my living expenses for the month. And the worst part is, we didn't even find any new delusions. Well, a day off every now and again is good for the soul, right? I had a lot of fun, at least. Eh, yeah, that wasn't half bad. Well, at least you guys had fun. If you want me to feel better, then pay up. Today was your treat. A special event, we'll call it. Now, where to next? Hey, don't change the subject. It's getting kind of late, and most of the stores are already closed. Fine. Change the subject. Aren't too many people milling around anymore, either. Yeah, Akiba nights begin pretty early. Pubs and taverns and the like should still be open, though. Asahi, the legal drinking age in Japan is 20. The pubs and taverns will have to wait until you're older. Even if I were old enough, you guys have already impoverished me. I wouldn't be able to buy any drinks anyway. What are the bars like in Akihabara? Given the other shops here, I imagine they'd be sort of... unique. Hmm. Well, there have been more run-of-the-mill places opening recently. But, yeah, there are a bunch of weird ones. Stuff like a vampire bar, a ninja tavern, even a queen bar. A queen bar? Is that your thing, Tachibana? No, not at all! A queen bar? Queen of what? You've never heard that term before? Well, the queen is like... Oh, hey! What is it? So, you're into it after all? I told you no. I just thought of some place we could check out. My! Your treat again, I... Thank you so much! It's not a queen bar, is it? I... don't think so? Probably not, at least. Probably? Well, uh, we'll find out when we get there, won't we? I think she said it was on the side street somewhere. The back alleys of Akihabara? Where are you taking us? If you're thinking of getting us drunk and taking advantage of us... No, I'm not. Just pipe down and follow me. You'll see in a minute. At least tell us the name, will ya? Violet Eden. Try to keep an eye out. I'm smashing you losers like ants! You idiots think you can call yourselves real card gamers? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Yamato, it's him! It's the god! But uh, Yamato? What are you... What? Do you not have any rare cards? 
The commons in your deck are all super lame too. You really suck at this. Hey, jerk ass. The hell do you want, brat? I'm no brat. You're still in middle school. Ipso facto, you're a brat. Well, I got news for you, dipwad. I'm a high schooler. Huh? Seriously? Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you just looked like a little middle schooler. I'm so sorry. So yeah, what's a middle schooler like you want with me? I'm a high schooler, damn it! He's down, Yamato. You do look like a middle schooler. You wanna go too, Tachibana? Uh, no, sorry. What I meant to say was that he looks like a middle schooler. Makes sense he'd be trolling around these card shops. Man, all I want to do is enjoy some real card battles, you know? Not all this kid stuff. That's not how it works. Card games aren't one-sided. You might as well go kick over someone's sandcastle. Without an opponent, you can't even play. That's why you gotta make sure both players are having fun. Got it? Even if your opponent is just a little grade schooler. You serious? You gonna try this touchy-feely, everyone's a winner crap on me? None of those weaklings could even come close to being my opponent. They're all garbage, every last one of them. Which is why I'm about to put you in your place. And there it is. Ha! You've got to be joking! A baby-faced middle schooler like you is going to come after me? You going to stand around talking, or are you going to get ready to play? Oh, you bet your ass I'll play you, Tiny. This is going to be good. Come at me. Prepare yourself. Battle mode. Engaged and on standby. Ready? Fight! I'll go first. I summon Dante and end my turn with an assault shift. <laughs> That's all? I've already got the four cards I need to counter that lined up in my hand. What the hell are you talking about? You'll see. Let's hurry this up. I'll end my turn by having my machine arm use a defense shift. <laughs> what kind of crappy card is that? I sacrifice my Dante to summon Monarch of the Unfathomable. You might not know the Monarch. It's a rare one thanks to a first-run printing error. Goes for over 100,000 yen. And your point is? My point is, I'm using the Monarch of the Unfathomable's ignition skill. Dropping you to 30 life points, loser. 30's more than enough. Yeah, keep up the tough guy act while you can. With that, I end my turn. Hurry up and draw. Didn't I tell you? I've already got what I need. This match is in the bag. Yeah, for me. No matter what you drew, there's absolutely no way you can turn things around now. I summon this card! No freaking way! That's the right hand of the Eastern Lich King. Y you've gotta be kidding! And I'm using its ignition skill, which means I get to summon again. I summon the right hand of the Western Lich King, and I immediately use its ignition skill to summon the right leg of the Southern Lich King, whereupon I use its ignition skill. That's... How? How were those the four cards in your hand? Summoning the left leg of the Northern Lich King. And to top it all off, I summon this. That's right. The heart of the Lich King! You don't mean... With these five cards assembled in my field, I've secured all I need to take my victory. I execute a Link combo skill, which summons Karodia the Forbidden One! I can't believe this! You know what comes next, don't you? Karodia the Forbidden One's ignition skip. Yeah, I know! Damn it, just hurry up and finish it already. <laughs> we'll be done when I say we're done. Karodia! Obliterate! Go! Perfect daybreak! Grant me my perfect victory! No! Impossible! How could I lose? What's that you said earlier? About how your opponents were all garbage? No! <laughs> Victory is mine. And you've never played this game before, right? I've only played it like twice. Honest. Whatever you say, Mr. Beginner's Luck. Let's just head back to car.